Okay, here's the Duke. So this is the 1.6 Techna in Vivid Blue. 17 inch Alois. This was the latest incarnation of the car before they completely changed it. As you can see, all good here. Different style of boot in the Duke. Very flat load area until you drop. Rear floor, and then that gives you a bit more space there. And again, under everything. So you got your tow inflation kit, locking wheel nut, towing eye. Okay, that's not the easiest thing to do with your left hand. So there we go again. All good. All clean. Now with this one it doesn't have any parking sensors. So all you've got is just the just the camera. I'll show you that in just a sec. So again. You, you feel the leather trim this time. No, uh, no panoramic roof. So we have here, all round electric windows. You also control the central locking from there. You don't have the uh, folding mirrors, unfortunately. Um, well, actually, I say that you do have it on these ones. So you can control those from there. Resetting your tire pressure sensor monitor, traction control. And this uh, controls all your safety, your safety shield as well. I'll try and run through a little bit of that. As we go in here, part of the safety shield is you have this little button here. That's your blind spot warning indicator. So that'll light up if there's something sat in your blind spot. Uh, and if you indicate to move into a lane whilst there's a car there, that it will beep at you. So your main controls here. 14141 is the miles, half a tank of fuel in here. Cruise control, speed limiter, as before. And your controls here, this little eye button. I'll push in that, that will change your display in here. How many miles to go? Average MPGs. That sort of thing. Uh, climate control, this will also give you D mode, which allows you to choose display settings. Um, you can also switch it between normal, sport, and eco. Slightly different sat nav system. Your camera's on here again. You've got your around view monitor and your front and your rear camera. Again with the lines on there so you can see what's happening there. Uh, the book pack, I think, is down at our prep centre, but that's the prep sheet. That's the minor service we did on the car. Uh, it's 14130 uh, on February the 13th. So, leather armrest, heated front seats again with a low and a high setting. You've also got a bit more storage in there as well. Uh, and the black head lining. Before I finish off here, I will show you one other little bit. This is the Bose personal speakers. So in the driver's headrest, you see that you don't have them for the passenger there. You're actually able to go and configure the connect system with the music to, uh, to have the sound, to make it sound like it's coming from all around you, directly out of the dash. What it does mean is you don't get any rear speakers with this. But the driver gets a really, really good sound experience. Okay, that's the Jeep.